The Florida Gators are 11 and 14 the past two seasons under head coach Billy Napier. That's their worst stretch since the late 70s. They haven't had three straight losing seasons since the 1940s. It's fair to say that Billy Napier is on the hot seat. Can he turn things around in Gainesville in 2024? Well, we're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available at wagertalk.com. From now until August 31st, you can get all my football picks through the end of September for one low price of 249 bucks. That covers college football, NFL football, and NFL preseason. Why would you be interested in that? Well, I do my homework over the summer, and my results early in the season have been outstanding. The last two years, in the months of August and September, 41 and 12 with college football, that's 77%. You add in NFL and NFL preseason, and we've hit 75% winners in that time period the last two years. You can get that deal right now at wt.buzz slash deals. That's the Wager Talk deals page. However, there's no purchase necessary. You're not obligated to buy anything. Please feel free to tune in for the free content. The only thing I ask of you is I really implore you, you have to smash that like button. And that allows me to keep on putting out these free pick videos. Now let's get into the free pick. I'm excited about this one. This is a big game after some lackluster matchups in week zero. We got a good one in week one. We got Miami, Florida on the road at Florida. The Hurricanes are a two-point favorite. The total sit at 55 and a half. Uh, you could say both these coaches are on the hot seat. Expectations are high for the Miami Hurricanes. And as I mentioned, uh, Billy Napier has his work cut out for him. you got to feel bad for Billy Napier because this Florida team could likely be a top 25 team if they played a different schedule. But the schedule looks daunting. Um, and the bookmakers already have Miami favored on the road here. You, you look at the other markets, like the season win total markets. Florida's season win total opened at five. I see it's being bet down. Money's coming in on the under. It's now sitting at four and a half at most books. And that tells me that they really don't think uh, Florida is going to win this game in week one. Um, reason for optimism for Florida is the play of Graham Mertz last year. Mertz was not very good at Wisconsin. I didn't have high expectations for him coming into the season. So when all was said and done, and he ended up leading the uh, SEC in completion percentage, I was a little bit surprised. And I think that's a little bit misleading. So I started digging into it a little bit. And uh, I watched Mertz play in week one in a loss to Utah. He threw for 333 yards on 31 of 44 passing, one touchdown and one pick. Uh, a pretty good game for him statistically. But Florida scored three points in the first three quarters of that game. He uh, put, put those stats on the board in the fourth quarter in garbage time when uh, the Utes uh, – let him have the short passes. And and I look at the schedule, I look at some of his other big games, and I think it's the same story. A 33-14 to 14 loss to Kentucky. He throws for 244 yards on 25 of 30 passing with a couple touchdowns. Extremely accurate, but they lost by uh, 19 points. And then again, a 43-20 to 20 loss to Georgia. He throws for 230 yards on 25 of 34 passing with a couple touchdowns but they lose by 23 points. Um, it, it would appear that Graham Mertz' uh, statistically excellent season is a little bit misleading, and I wouldn't be that optimistic about Graham Mertz, and especially when you've got a guy like Cam Ward on the other side. Uh, Miami really uh, won the transfer market this year, bringing in the top quarterback and the top running back in the transfer portal. you got Damian Martinez coming over from Oregon State. Uh, the only thing that people can say about Miami is, as far as uh, negativity and why they don't like Miami is a lot of people don't like Mario Cristobal, and it's hard to blame them when you see that uh, game against Georgia Tech, Tech last year that uh, Miami clearly should have won that game. It was coaching that cost them that game. However, my, uh, my opinion is I saw his last three years at Oregon. They were tw the Ducks were 25-5 and five in the regular season in his last three seasons with the Ducks. If you exclude the COVID year, 21 and three record in the regular season uh, in his last two full seasons with the Ducks. Cristobal, I, I don't think he's a great coach, but I think he can win games. And uh, if you give him the better quarterback, 
the better roster. You got an offensive line loaded with NFL caliber talent, two top 10 recruiting classes the last two years. I don't think anybody wants to step in front of this Miami team. So the play for this game is going to be the Miami Hurricanes to win this game straight up on the money line minus 130. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.